All right, I'm going to show you the No Texting While Driving app. And in this part, I'm just going to show you the most basic texting app, an, an auto response app. A text comes into the app and it replies with another, another text. And I've already set the screen title. That's all I've done. But I'm going to go to the social drawer, right? So in the social drawer, you'll, you'll see this texting component dragging in. Think of this as a little guy that knows how to receive text and send text. You know, so your app has this little functional dude that can do those kind of things. So I just dragged a texting component in and I'm going to go to the blocks. My UI is going to be simple, nothing to it, right? But when my app is running, it's going to send a text back to whoever texts me. Okay, so I'll grab my texting component. There's this great event called message received. Okay, anytime a text comes into my phone and my app is running, then I can respond to that text. You know, I can do or I can do whatever I want in response to that text, right? In this case, I'm just going to send a text back. And to send a text, it's pretty easy, but you need about three blocks. One is a send message, but you also always need to set the phone number of who you're going to send the text to, and then you need to set the message that you're going to send. So you'll usually have a series of three blocks. Set the phone number, set the message, and send it. Okay. In this case, since I want to respond to who just texted me, I'm going to use this event parameter. It's called number. This is the phone number of the person that texted me. And that's that's the that's who I'm going to send the text to. And then, you know, I can send whatever text I want. I'm just going to say, you know what? I'm coding right now. Uh, I'll text you later. So this is going to be the response text that gets sent back to whoever sends me a, me a text. Okay, so I've already connected my phone with the AI campaign. So I've got my phone sitting here. Um, and it's sitting next to me, but you're seeing it projected onto the screen. And as you can see, the UI has nothing to, to it. I'm going to test my app by using Google Voice. Okay, uh, Let me get rid of some of these older um, stuff I've been doing with, 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 with it. Okay, I'm going to send a text from Google Voice. I could also have a friend text me to test my app, but this I, this I can do all by myself. So just open a Google Voice account. It's free, and then you can send text. So I'm going to send a text to the phone number that's running my app that you know you're seeing my phone projected here and I'll just say hi there Dave okay that's the text I'm gonna send so I'm gonna click send so my Google Voice account just texted my phone and my app okay my phone just received it you can see the notification up there and I believe my app will then send a message back to Google Voice so I'm gonna go back to my Google Voice number so these blocks I did should have sent a message back, right? So if I go to back to Google Voice and I just refresh, okay, so here's my message I sent. Hi there, Dave. And as you can see, I'm coding right now. I'll text you later. That got sent back in response. And these are both me because, um, you know, both of these phone numbers are, are associated with Wolber D, you know, my email, okay? Uh, but as you can see, the app did send a response text back. And you know, it's it's pretty simple. And this this is a good pattern for, for sending text for any app and then also for receiving text. So if you want to know about texting component, this pretty much tells you all you need to know. And of course you can switch it to, you know, say you want to text some of your favorite friends phone numbers every time, or say you want to, you know, do something tricky with this this message and send send some something back that's different, like send your location or the time or something like that. You can do that kind of stuff in, in, in these blocks.